Hey, what's going on, Eunice? How are you doing today? Fine. What, uh, and what about you? Man, what, what type of, uh, what type of IT services do you do? I'm just app and searching around and just hit the IT services and talking with you. So, uh, but I'm interested in programming now and I'm interested in deep learning. And what about you? That's the same exact thing. I'm trying to learn. I'm trying to teach myself Java. Um, and I'm trying to try, that's first thing, right? So, um, I, I went on Udemy okay. and, uh, there's a guy named Colt Steele. Anyway, I took his course. So I learned HTML and then CSS and I watch a couple of YouTube channels, right. On how to do stuff. Um, and then just asking yeah. people, like, how does this software thing work? I don't know, but I'm still learning, which is, uh, which is good. So yeah, there's a, there's a podcast actually I, I asked a guy about it's called startup lab. Um, and he, he gave me some good advice and I have the, the website saved. Gosh, it's like code. It's not code Academy. It's like code mentor. I think the website is that I'm going to sign up for and, and just, uh, you know, uh, have somebody, uh, teach me basic programming. So, yeah. Yeah, I'm trying to solve a problem, yeah. by the way. That's why I want to learn software. So That's good. And um, I actually, on the holiday time, I'm a student from Turkey. And uh, at the same time, I'm working as embedded system software developer. Wow. Uh, so I'm using C on that. Uh, and... Uh, as a hobby or as a part of my life, I'm uh, I'm learning Python and deep learning, more about deep learning. Uh, it's really interesting and it's really good, I think. Uh, maybe uh, you can learn about that. What? Uh, deep learning. Yeah. Uh, I mean... Uh, did you ever heard about no, it? No, I have no idea what that is. I don't know if that's uh, – is that like AWS cloud or – I have no idea what that even means, deep learning. Nope. Uh, deep learning Deep learning is a branch that uh, makes us enable to create and implement some learnable softwares. Uh, for example, it's a general example. Uh, for example, housing crisis. We want we want to write a program that uh, predict about uh, a house's price. Uh, we feed our program with the data. I mean, for example, the area of the house and the prices of the houses. Uh, so we feed the program with our data, and after that, we make our program to able to learn from the data. After that, uh, we're gonna we're gonna uh, make our program some, for example, uh, asking the program uh, what is the prices of one hundred meter square house. Oh, nice. uh, I don't know. Uh, I'm uh, speaking a little, a little bit bad because I'm not so practicing. This is the practicing for me. Uh, is it bad, too bad or uh, is it understandable? Oh, yeah, definitely. Yeah, if you could give me an example of like what software that is or, uh, or is it just like a, a method, I guess? Uh, it's a method. Oh, okay. Uh, it's algorithm actually, oh. deep learning algorithms. Yeah, that's all. Oh, so that's methods. Actually. I have no idea what that means, but it sounds cool though. It sounds like um, it sounds really like awesome. 
you know, wow, that'd be kind of nice. So, yeah. yeah, I'm sure it pays a lot too. So, what's going on on your life? What do you think about it? Yeah, dude, it's pretty nice. Probably. That looks. That sounds kind of cool. Yeah, I'm. I'm. Um, you know, I know in in Silicon Valley, that's where all the you know IT stuff happens. I guess basically, and all the programmers live there or whatever. Yeah. And I know they're putting out like, you know, some cool stuff. I, I watch some, you know, like I said, YouTube channels. There's one, um, there's a girl from Japan. Her name is like um, yeah. M-A- M-A-G-K-U-R, I think it is, or M-A-G-K-U-R, something like that. But she, she's a programmer. Um, and then there's another guy named, it's like uh, John, oh gosh, John, uh, I uh, can't think of his name off the top of my head without Googling it. But he's a, he's a software <laughs> no, programmer. No, no. He's self-taught, and he lives in, in uh, San Diego. How did you – okay, so how did you get into software? What did you – like, how did you start? That's really the question. How did you start programming software? Good, good question. I was on high school, uh, nearly uh, 15-year-old. Uh, I saw a, a magazine and uh, a part of the magazine, there was a, a competition. Uh, there was a, uh, what is that? There was a, a new about, news about the competition. Um, and this was about robotic. Oh, no. It was a robotic competition, and uh, so I was curious about robotic. Uh, so I searched on Google uh, how to make a robot or something like that, and uh, I started with C. So, uh, and after that, uh, I'm uh, uh, I tried to learn how to program a, a microcontroller. And after that, uh, I learned about Arduino. Uh, you know Arduino? I've heard of it, yeah. I know that and the Raspberry Pi and um, uh, yeah. Eagle, I think it is, or uh, gum, gum yeah. wrap, gum, some, gum stick, gum tree stick, something like that. Uh, I didn't get it. Some kind of board. It's called gum, gum stick. It's a board, like a uh, Arduino. Arduino. Mm. Anyway, yeah, I, I understand what you're saying. Yeah. Okay, okay, I get it. I get it. Uh, now, uh, I actually now uh, programming uh, hardware. I mean, uh, just microcontrollers. Uh, you know about maybe microchip and PIC. That's our microcontroller company and uh, microcontroller name. Uh, I'm writing code for that. Uh, so my story, to get back to my story, uh, after that, I have uh, learned more about robotic and it was just fun and I was happy with that. Uh, after that time, I'm interested in a little bit Unity and game developing. Yeah. Uh, on it. Uh, I published a game, but uh, after that, I leave the game development, and uh, that's that's that for me, because uh, I have to give up from something to doing another things. Uh, so, uh, actually, being a student, being a worker, being a hobbyist, it's to be yeah, it's make me too busy a little yeah. bit so uh, i have to give something give up some give up on something what, what, what's, so, what's your what's, game called man i'm curious about that what's your game like you create an actual game that's awesome man heck yeah that's awesome thank you um a few days ago, I have mailed by Google, and uh, they said that your your app 
you installed from the Google Play Store because uh, you you didn't update the privacy policy or something else like this. So, uh, but uh, there is another app, but uh, that's just a homework. That was just homework. Uh, I don't even remember its name, but uh, my actual name, my actual game's name is X Y. Uh, maybe <laughs> I have load again, but if I uh, if we contact each other later, the uh, maybe I can send an APK file <laughs> to you and. <laughs> So what's your story? What's how to, how did you start programming or? Um, so, okay. That's it. You know, that's interesting. Uh, I'm glad you asked. And it's basically like, um, I'm cre I created a program uh, from um, WebRTC and it's, um, it's like uh, WebEx, right? Because I don't like the fact that you, I mean, I don't, I don't like paying for WebEx, right? So I wanted a program that you can just go to a browser and you can share. You can screen share ideas, right, um, and that type of thing. So that's that's what I created. And um, mm. I I, w I have my own GitHub site. I did all that. I just self taught myself. I don't. I'm not at other people's <laughs> yeah. level, but I I just I'm fascinated by it. I'm. It's like really cool to me. You know, like wow, this is so cool. So I'm solving a problem for me. It's just a being able to like share ideas um, on uh, like basically teach people or like um, um, educate people basically real time versus go to YouTube and mm -hmm. like, Oh, okay. I'm going to learn something, but it's like a five minute video and I don't get any um, instant feedback. Right. So that's the whole, that's the problem it solves basically. Um, hip chat. I know hip chat has it, but it's a pay for play. Talk box that's a pay for play. Uh, what's the other one? There's another one. Uh, yeah, Easy RTC is another one too. Oh, Jitsi that's a pay for play as well. Some of it's open source. Uh, but yeah, it's fun. I like it. It's fun. You know, just to be able to talk to people like real time, right? Around the world. Just imagine that. Like you can just share ideas with folks real time around the world. You know, that's. That, That's, and you can see yeah. what they're seeing, the screen, you know, how they view things. Like, oh, that's so cool. You know, what makes them think? That's the problem that solves for me anyway. That's why I got the photo for that reason. Oh, that's fine. Um, what's your resume now? Uh, are you a student? Yeah, well, I'm a... Actually, um, I'm a, um, I work full time and then I do this uh, Java learning based part time. So I'm just doing this like a side hustle or my side, uh, side thing, you know, side, uh, side, you know, uh, thing I want to do. Uh, I get it. It's fun. Yeah, it's fun. I, I think. I, I, this is my first time to do a co or like the co-host thing. It's kind of cool. I like this. Uh, I like this app on Anchor. It's kind of nice. Yeah, I, I like this too. Do you see like a little red bar going across on your screen? <laughs> so <laughs> yeah, 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 it's so, so, <laughs> so, <laughs> so if oh gosh, we're almost oh heads up. So okay, Five minutes. Yeah. Oh yeah. Oh, that's the nice last 15 moment. minutes. That's nice. That's really cool. I wonder if this will be published yeah. on like the um, anchor instantly or wonder how it works. It's probably getting published in yours and mine, right? Probably. That's good. Yeah. 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 Okay. Yeah, man. Nice like to meet you. Thanks, thanks, buddy. Appreciate it for uh, doing this. I, this is nice. It was, uh, I learned a lot. Yeah, I didn't know deep learning. That's kind of nice to, to educate. Oh, yeah, you can, you can use Kaggle.com. Kaggle.com. K-A-E-G-L-E. Okay. 